Hello, we're doing daily devotions. My name is Lloyd. Um, today is Monday of the Passion Week, and so we're taking a day out of the life of Jesus that he spent during the Passion Week, according to a sermon series we've been doing called The Week That Changed the World. So today is Monday. Today is the day that Jesus went in and, and turned over all the money changers and, the, and threw out the corrupt people out of the temple who were buying and selling doves and they were using it as a racket to make money off the poor and uh, it was disturbing and it's also the day that he curses the fig tree and um, it's also the day that it was that moment it says the chief priest and the Pharisees decided it was the moment that they wanted to kill Jesus where their hearts finally turned it, this was that day uh, what's interesting is the next day when they come out and they see the cursed fig tree, this is the reaction of the disciples and it's action of Jesus out of Mark chapter 11, verse 20. It says, In the morning as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. And Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. And I would have probably went into a a discourse about how corrupt religion, you know, hurts people and deceives people and takes people down wrong paths. But Jesus didn't do that. Instead of talking about corruption, he goes into what we are supposed to look like, what, what people who, who follow Jesus, what, what we're supposed to be like. And it's beautiful. Have faith in God. Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, if anyone, anyone says to this mountain, go through yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you received it and will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. When God's moving in our heart, when God's moving and doing great things for us, that should always lead us to a place of humility and love and grace and wanting to make things right with other people. My prayers during this time that we're isolated. Take some time, take some moments. Those of you who love Jesus and follow after him. And just ask the Lord, is there any person that I haven't made things right with? That I haven't really asked for forgiveness or sought reconciliation? Let this be that time. And if you do, the two of you can say to this mountain be removed. This mountain of contention will be gone through the power of Jesus Christ. It was Monday. For those of you families out there, Pastor Brittany, every day this week, will be giving you a scavenger hunt that's sort of based around the Passion Week, around Easter. So here she is with today's scavenger hunt. Hi, Streams Church. Pastor Brittany here. I am so excited for this week. We get to do a scavenger hunt for Passion Week. I am so pumped. All right, here's how it's going to go. Um, I will release a few items each day, um, and you all go out and find those items. You could be super creative, you could find the exact item, um, whatever you have at your house, right? Um, so what you'll do is you'll find your item, then you will take a picture of that item and set those items aside in a basket so you can collect all the items during the week. Make sure you are following Streams Kids AZ on Facebook or Instagram. Um, when you have your picture, you can take your picture, you'll post it on your, on your profile and tag us inside that photo so it pops up over to us. This is how I'll keep track of entries. Every item is a point. If you um, are super creative, like if, you, if the item is a donkey and you don't have a donkey so you use your dog and dress him up as a donkey, that's pretty creative. That'll be two points. And then three points will be um, if you're in the photo, you or your family members are in the photo, and then you get 10 extra points, 10 extra points for completing the entire scavenger hunt and have all 12 items. Each point 
is an entry into a drawing. And we will have some winners. And we will go Facebook Live at on Monday. So after Easter. Um, you guys will post your final, your final basket with all your items. Easter at by midnight. And I will tally everything up on Monday. And Monday at 7 p.m. we'll go live. And today's feast, oops, I showed you. Today's hunt is a palm branch and a donkey. So have fun hunting and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.